Hello again, it's George. The purpose of this tutorial is to show how I create a 2D and solid model of an ordinary coffee cup. Remember that there's always more than one way of doing anything. My method of drawing with AutoCAD may seem unusual, but it has worked for me for the past 20 years, so please stay tuned in. Uh, what you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model of a cup in paper space. The first thing I'll do is to erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports so there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right hand side. I created the two viewports so that you can see the original drawing on the left and better understand how I'm going to create the solid model. First I'll create a new layer, call it solid and make it current and it'll have the color red. And now I'll draw two concentric circles one having an, a diameter of 2.78 and the smaller one a diameter of 2.48. Then I'm going to change the view to the southeast isometric and extrude both circles so that the inner circle can be subtracted from the larger circle. I extruded the larger circle a distance of minus 2.64 and now I'll extrude the inner circle a distance of minus uh, 2.5 and then subtract the inner cylinder from the outer one. Now I'll add some shading just to see what drawing looks like. It occurs to me that two viewports may not be enough to uh, construct this model, so I'm going to create four equal viewports. The viewport in the upper left corner will contain the 2D drawing of the cup. The drawing in the upper right corner will be the solid model in isometric, southeast isometric form. The viewport in the lower left corner of the screen will contain a front view of the solid. Also, the lower right hand corner of the screen will contain the right side view of the cup. In the lower left viewport, I'm going to use the polyline command and draw a line 0.8 inches and then down 1.54 and 0.8 again. That will be the handle for the cup. And then I'm going to radius, put an inside radius with the fillet command of uh, 0.2. Then I'm going to double click on the viewport on the lower right and draw an ellipse. One distance will be 0.5 and the other, the vertical, will be 0.2. So uh, that axis will be 0.5. Then the vertical axis, I'll make it, uh, half of it would be 0.1. And then we'll select the ellipse and get it from the center 
and place it on the end point of the uh, polyline that I just created. You have probably noticed that when you work on one viewport, then uh, it automatically is drawn on the other viewport. So the top view shows the handle in the upper right corner. And you can see here where the ellipse is now on the end point of this polyline. The next task will be to extrude the ellipse along the path of the polyline. And so when asked for an object to select to extrude, I select the ellipse, and then type P for path, and select the polyline. At this point, however, the handle is not affixed to the cup, so it's of no value. So we'll have to move the handle into the cup. So with the move command, I select the handle in the lower right view and want to line it up in the center of the cup. To get the handle properly located, it may be difficult to, uh, you might have to work on more than one viewport at a time to get it located correctly. When you think you have the handle located properly, you might want to use the Visual Aids toolbar and add some shading to oh, the top view, to all the views for that matter, to see what the cut part looks like. Since the various views of the cup appear adequate, I'll move back into one viewport containing everything. And that, of course, means going back to the, uh, to get out of the southeast isometric and to go back into the plan view and show the entire drawing. Having finished the solid, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on Layout 1 button. As you can see, the template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch the southeast isometric view, and pan and zoom to enlarge the solid, and double click outside the viewport to get back to paper space. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the live viewport by selecting it and clicking the Properties button, Then the standard scale is found under Miscellaneous. That is where you set a scale for the viewport. Once the scale is set, you can double-click inside the large viewport to get access and then pan so as to hide the solid model. Also, if you don't want the rectangles to be printed, go to the Layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. I would enjoy hearing from you, so please comment on this tutorial. Thank you for watching.